Hey, this is Nate Storr with Bright Acre Tech, and today I'm going to talk about spacing plants in your zip grow towers. So a lot of folks have questions about uh, what the spacing is uh, in zip grow towers for your various plants. So what I typically recommend is basically just crop spacing. Okay, so uh, whatever the or standard crop spacing, whatever the seed, uh, whatever the seed packet tells you to space, that's what I would recommend state spacing. So for bok choy, most of the time, it's about six inches, right? So uh, these seedlings will space out at six inches. And, um, you know, we'll end up with uh, around eight, nine, maybe ten plants per tower. And that's fairly standard across the board. So just about um, most, most crops, whether they're greens or herbs, most crops will like that six inch spacing. So that's really what I would recommend um, for these types of crops. Um, basil, we usually do six to eight inches. And uh, there's a lot of other crops. Uh, that will go a little bit wider on if they're kind of big and bulky. But by and large, that six inch spacing works quite well. So at the end of the day, spacing in zip grow towers is really pretty simple. Just follow the directions on the packet for a row. But the thing to keep in mind is that, you know, your larger stature crops, if you're going to let them get really big, you want to space them out a little bit more. You want to be a little bit more generous with your spacing because they're going to get really big. And if they get really big and they're spaced really tightly, they're going to shade each other out. So things like, say, bok choy, which will easily grow a two or a three pound head if we let it, um, if we're growing it to that size, we're gonna space it out maybe eight inches or maybe 10 inches between plants. Because otherwise you end up with a big head that's kind of crunched and shaded out this little bitty head beneath it or beside it. Um, same thing with basil, same thing with a lot of other crops that have the potential to get pretty large. So think carefully about what your goals are for the crop. You know, do I want to let this get really big? Am I going to sell a full-size 10-inch head of lettuce? Or am I just going to grow out a little petite, you know, four to six-inch head of lettuce? Um, it's totally up to you. But kind of how you space it then just depends entirely on what your goals for your crops are. You know, planting towers is fast and simple, and they're really productive. So if you're not happy with the, how you space a certain crop the first time around, you can always come back to it down the road and the next time you crop, you can try spacing them tighter or spacing them further apart if you want. Um, there's a lot of flexibility. There's no right or wrong way to do it. It's just totally an issue of what you want to do with your towers and what you want to be growing um, and what, to what size. So um, please check out uh, the Vertical Food Blog for more information on this subject. And uh, we also have uh, quite a few resources on our website, brightagrotech.com. We're going to try and get more resources up there in the future to help people with issues like this.